Tom from TomlinHarmonicaLessons.com and today I'm going to do a lesson that I've been requested to do a bunch of times and that is how to cup a harmonica microphone uh, effectively to get a good tone. Now you've probably not seen me play with a microphone before and the truth is I don't play electric harmonica very much but I do know one thing about it and that is that the key to really good harmonica tone with a microphone is having really good harmonica tone without a microphone. It's all about how good your acoustic tone is. And what that comes down to is having a good airtight seal on the harmonica and a good strong cup around the harmonica. So firstly what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to cup the harmonica effectively and then I'm going to show you how to use a stick mic and then I'm going to show you how to use the infamous green bullet microphone. Okay, so the key to getting a good tight cup acoustically is making sure that you're holding the harmonica properly to start with. So you're going to hold the harmonica in your left hand between your index finger and your thumb. This is going to be a revision for a lot of you, but it's good to go over these things. Then your left hand fingers are going to curl around, make a little bit of a cup shape here. You don't want to be holding really tight. Any tightness is going to lead to air leaks. So we've got thumb and index finger, same length along the harmonica. Then with our right hand, we're going to put the palm of the hand on this gap here and seal it. And that should be relatively airtight already. You'll see that there are a couple of other uh, little tweaks that you can make. So my right hand finger, uh, index finger, is covering the back of the harmonica on the right hand side just here. My right hand thumb is covering holes 8, 9 and 10. That stops any extra air getting out and I'm just loosely holding on to my left hand with my right hand. Now, loose is important because if you hold on tight, you're gonna create gaps in between your fingers and you're gonna lose the air tightness. So, although we want to be air tight, we wanna be relaxed while we're doing it. That's the most important thing. And this will take some practice to get comfortable with. And you're just gonna to have to fiddle around with this a little bit because every, everybody's hands are different. You know, I have quite small hands. They're not very meaty, so there are challenges with that. If you have bigger hands, you're going to find challenges with that. There are, you know, there's no ideal uh, shape of person for cupping. You just need to work at it and, and keep persevering, and you're aiming to get the most airtight seal possible. Okay, so let's have a listen to what that sounds like uh, in context. So I'm going to be nice and cupped and nice and tight. Can you hear those high notes ringing out? That means that my seal is so tight that some of the air is being pulled through from the two draw and from the higher notes as well. And that means you've got a really good cup so that when you open your hand, you're gonna get a nice deep wah-wah sound. So if you're getting that kind of thing, it's gonna make getting a good tone on the microphone a lot easier. So now I'm going to show you how to use this kind of microphone, so this is an SM57, uh, and that's a very common microphone to find. It's known as a stick microphone. Uh, it's not used, it's not designed for harmonica, but lots of players use them for harmonica because they sound great, and you can get a really nice bluesy tone with them. So let's have a look at how we're going to cup a stick microphone. Okay, so first step, you're gonna hold the microphone in your left hand, between your pinky and ring finger and the palm of your hand. Now, this might feel quite heavy and quite difficult to get to grips with at first. It's gonna get easier the more you practice, plus once you've got your other hand balancing the microphone as well, it's all gonna to come together quite, quite nicely. And then we put the harmonica in its usual place in your left hand between your thumb and your index finger. Now, behind, I've got my middle finger is sort of sticking out, it's not curling round, I want to try and keep it going in line with the index finger. Then with my right hand, I'm just trying to cover everything up here and make sure that there aren't any gaps in between the, the microphone and the palm of my hands. And this is gonna take a bit of jigging, but you'll, you'll get it with some practice. Now, if you see here, my thumb's kind of, my thumb on my left hand is, is nice and tight in with the palm of my right hand. Index finger on my right hand, it's covering the back of the harmonica, so that stops air getting out. My thumb on my right hand is gonna cover holes eight, nine, and 10 if I can. That's gonna stop air getting out. And then if you look at this gap here that we've got between your thumb and the harmonica, there are two ways that you can deal with this. Either you can rotate your thumb around, get rid of it like that, 
or you can stick your lip in it when you're playing the harmonica. Okay, so now that we've got a nice, nice seal on that, let's uh, let's listen to what it sounds like. <laughs> So we've got two different kind of uh, wah sounds that we can get with this. You can either open the bottom for a slightly more subtle wah, or you can flick your fingers open like that and get a nice kind of barking sound. So the, these are, are nice things to, to play around with. Uh, and you're going to need to practice holding that microphone. You're going to drop it a bunch of times. That's totally normal. Don't, don't worry about that. It'll take you a bit of time to get comfortable with it. It's quite an unusual weight to have. This is a, a slightly lighter SM57 than normal because it's been customized by Blows Me Away harmonicas, uh, harmonica microphones. Um, if you have a normal 57, it's a bit longer. It's a little bit heavier. But people use them. You just need to practice and get used to holding that extra weight. Right, I'm now going to show you how to use a green bullet. So green bullet is the industry standard uh, for harmonica microphones. It's not one I use a lot, but I know a lot of you out there will want to know how to cut one. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so uh, bullet microphone, you're gonna hold it in exactly the same way as the stick mic, but because it's a little bit bigger and heavier, it's gonna be a bit, bit more uh, of a challenge to get it to balance and not drop it. Um, so you might need to get, get the middle finger involved, but we're really trying to, to make sure that there's a bit of space between the harmonica and the microphone. You don't wanna have the microphone right up against the harmonica. You want a bit of a, of a cavity. And same thing again, your right hand is gonna bring a little bit of balance. You want to try and squeeze it into this gap here and with the palm of the hand, and just wrap all your fingers around, get into this kind of position. Now, if I have my hands open like this, you'll see that there's a bit of a gap there, so I really need to squeeze everything tight here. Uh, this is partly why I don't play with bullet microphones very often. I find them quite uncomfortable. I can get the cut, but it's not, it's not something I like. Uh, and same idea as the stick, stick microphone. You're getting your fingers to cover up the back of the harmonica on the right-hand side, and you've got your thumb to cover up the top holes on the harmonica on the right-hand side as well. And then with your thumb, if you have this gap, you can either rotate your thumb or you can stick your lip in it when you're playing. Okay, so same kind of idea as with the stick microphone. When I have a nice tight cup, we can open the bottom or we can open the top for different sounds. It's a little bit harder with the bullet microphone. I've got quite small hands, so I really struggle with this. Uh, I still managed to get an approximation of a, of a halfway decent cup on it. So let, let's have a listen to what that sounds like. <laughs> Okay, so as with the stick microphone, you're going to need to practice with this. It's not going to feel natural to start with. Uh, it's going to take a while, but please persevere because it will become second nature the more you do it. I suggest that you practice um, with the microphone without having it plugged in and just get used to trying to get the most airtight seal that you can and just keep doing it with your normal harmonica practice. And uh, now there's something you can do for me. You can give me a thumbs up by clicking the like button below. You can also subscribe to my channel because I put out a new harmonica lesson every Wednesday. Plus, I have one more little thing for you. If you click on the link in the description below, I've put together a guide to harmonica microphones that you can download from my site for free. So head over there and I'll tell you everything you need to know about choosing a harmonica microphone. See you next week.